Welcome back to TalkNorth.com. Thank you for listening. If you can, please download before you listen. It helps our business. I'd also like to thank our producer, Brandon Morton, and let you know if you'd like to sponsor this program or any of the programs on the network. You can reach me at jsouhan47 at gmail.com. TalkNorth.com is powered by Bite Squad. Go to BiteSquad.com or download their app. Get food to your door in minutes. Use the promo code TalkNorth to get your first delivery free. Talk North gets you your first delivery free. This is a typical Russo story. Welcome to the Lanos for the Russo Suhan Show. You know, Michael, I've had a lot of compliments on last week's show, which was a studio show, and they said you were great, and I, it made me think, man, you know, I need to start listening to these shows. Yeah, I know. You weren't very t- attentive last week. You I had just, stuff to you do. You just were listening to me yell. I just, I just kind of give the topic to you, and then I get my work done while you rant away. The most shocking part of last week's podcast is I didn't make Brandon buzz anything out. That, that is shocking. Yeah. Because what happens, if y'all don't know, is we do the show. Michael says eight times, he goes, I shouldn't say this, but. Mm. And then he regrets it an hour later. He calls Brandon. He tries to get Brandon to take it out. And then the cool thing is Brandon says, I'll take it out. Brandon doesn't take it out. And we all move on. Look how good that pizza looks on the Delano's website. I just actually had a Delano's pizza. They have gluten-free pizza, which I have to have, unfortunately, because of my my uh, allergies, my glutenism, and it was really good. Uh, and I know everybody, all, the, all of our regulars who show up all the time, they always order dinner here. It's a great place. Uh, we One of the reasons we're doing a show live at Delano's is because we want to make sure people know about Delano's in downtown Minneapolis, 118 North 4th Street, uh, right by Ramp C. It has its own parking lot right next to it. It's usually parking out front. Easy walking to Target Field, Target Center, local music scenes, and, of course, you can just come in here and watch all the big screens. Uh, we love this place. It's been great to us. We do appreciate their business. And to let you know, uh, if you want to do us a solid, Delano's a solid, the network a solid, uh, order Delano's Pizza through Bite Squad. We have a deal with Bite Squad. I have a bunch of business cards up here with the promo code printed on them. I handed a few out as well around the bar. Uh, if you use the promo code TALKNORTH at BiteSquad.com or the Bite Squad app, you get free delivery. Uh, I've used it to order Delano's Pizza, and the cool thing is it shows up and it looks just like it would look if you got it delivered to your table here. They take very good care of it. It's not there's No cheese is, is misplaced. It's perfect. So go to, go to BiteSquad.com, order whatever you like. We prefer Delano's. Promo code TALKNORTH. And you'll get free delivery, and it will also help us out. I appreciate it. Plus, so, I did it the other day, and I got a $20 coupon that you can give to a ooh. friend. And then I just got an email from Bite Squad with, a, with another free code for free delivery. So I think you're, you get on their list. Excellent. So that's good. So go down that road. Uh, before we get started here, I want to thank our other sponsors, Twill and the Dyna Galleria, WizKids.Tech, FixologyRepair.com, and Tony Hoagland, your State Farm Agent and Champlin. Uh, let's start with... Real games on tap. Do you, are you excited? Yeah, I am excited. I'm excited to get on a plane for. I was. I'm a lot more excited to get on the plane for Denver tomorrow than I was the other day for Denver. And I'm like, why am I going to this game? You know, uh, just because it was a meaningless preseason game where nobody really was playing. Well, actually, that's not true. I mean, they played Grandline and Niederreiter and a couple other guys, but it just you know you just knew that. I mean, it, let's put it this way: even Landeskog, McKinnon, and Rantanen didn't want to be there. <laughs> I even asked Bruce about that today. Like, what, what do you do against them on uh, Thursday that, you, you know, maybe make them look the way they did the other day? And he's like, well, I think they'll be trying on Thursday. So it was, that's how bad they were uh, the other night. Um, and uh, But, yeah, I am, I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see how this team goes. I mean, you know, first two games, not an easy way to start the season. Home against Vegas on Saturday and then in Colorado to open the season on Thursday. But, but there's just there's does seem to be this overall negativity around the league right now with the so-called experts talking about this team already right in the wild off and you know I think we all forget that they were one of the best home teams in the NHL last year they had the eighth most uh, points in the league last year two years ago they had the second most points in the West and and yet 
you know, here they are returning the same team, and yet everybody just thinks that they're going to suddenly. I mean, you, I think USA Today f- picked them like last or second to last. Really? Like, are you, I mean, the Wild aren't lucky enough to finish last. <laughs> <laughs> they I mean, can never get that high yeah, draft pick. No, I mean, if they're going to miss the playoffs, they're going to be 17th, you know. Uh, so it's just uh, – that's that's just, to me, absurd unless they have a crazy amount of injuries. Uh, luckily, as of now, they got out of uh, training camp relatively healthy. Um, Cunning looks really good on the ice to me and, and shouldn't be long. I think he'll still go to Iowa at some point here. And um, But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to stop writing about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you're always you are my favorite Seinfeld character. Yeah. And this is a show about nothing. Uh, so where does that negativity come from? Because I, here, here's the thing: yeah. I understand I understand fan frustration with okay, this team's not going to win a cup this year, but this has been a consistent playoff team. Yeah, no, I think the well, first of all, the Wild always seem to be a, a, a preseason, a glamorous preseason, missed the playoff pick. And once in a while, the, you know, one year, the, the so-called experts are going to get it right and then say, oh, you see, I was smart. I picked them uh, to finish out of the playoffs when they do it every single year. And yet the Wild, again, uh, you know, it's a broken record, but they've made the playoffs six years in a row and, and have the, have the, that's the second longest streak in the league tied with Anaheim, only behind Pittsburgh, who's won a couple cups in that stretch. So um, where's the negativity come from? I think it's, it's many things. I, I think a lot of people do look at this roster as being vanilla. They don't have the stars. Um, I think a lot of people are looking at, all right, they return the same core again, so uh, maybe they're going to get as bored in the room with each other as maybe the pundits are with them. And then I do think that a lot of teams are just looking at them as uh, a lot of experts are looking at them as an aging roster, at least the guys on the tippy top of the age spectrum. And then the other big thing is is that you look around the conference and a lot of teams have improved. I mean, Edmonton should not should be better. You know, was last year the aberration or was two years ago when they were unbelievable the aberration? Calgary should be better. Arizona should be much better. St. Louis on paper better. I caution, uh, you know, the thing with St. Louis is that we all last year, it's like the more moves you make in the offseason, the more the experts are like, well, they're going to be so much better. But we thought the same thing about Dallas two mm-hmm. years ago or last season. It didn't happen. Um, you know, L.A. adds Kolvachuk. Um, uh, you know, again, there's just a lot of reasons to like a lot of teams in this in this conference. So I think that that people just look at somebody's going to have to make the miss the playoffs if teams that were didn't make it last year, like like Arizona, St. Louis, Calgary, those teams make it, and and so people are just kind of picking on the Wild right now. Colorado should be better. I mean, their second line should be much better than they were last year, and I don't think they're just going to be a one line team. Um, and uh, Dallas, again, should be better. These are the teams that didn't make the playoffs in the division last year. Colorado did, but, but uh, again, I think that they're just only on the rise. We shouldn't do – you know, I know why we all do predictions in our business. Mm-hmm. Either we shouldn't do them or we should – have like a five paragraph disclaimer on top of everyone because none of us can predict the future and what I don't like is when like somebody questions your credibility because you were asked to make a prediction you make the prediction we make predictions knowing we're probably going to be wrong but yeah. you can't predict injuries uh, you know the flow of a season uh, you know other personnel moves, how good other teams are going to be. It's an, it's an impossible yeah, task. And, and fa- yeah, fans love them. I mean, it's funny. If they you, eat them you, up. You see NHL.com, ESPN, when those teams, you know, we're doing it now at The Athletic, when those team, those writers do uh, power rankings, oh, my God, if you're, if you're a fan of a team that they mm-hmm. feel got slighted, they just lose their minds. And when it's really, it's not like a, a, a group of, like, 25 experts in a meeting with computers trying to figure it out. You know how I did our, The Athletic power ranking the other day? While I was lying on the couch watching CNN, it took me one minute. I, went, I, di- I picked all 31 teams in a drop-down menu in one minute. That's how much I, I, I spent actually thinking about it. I'm just like, yeah, one, uh, two. Oh, no, I picked that team, two. Okay, I'll make it three. Uh, you know, I mean, that's what, the way it works. And so, uh, but, but, but it is funny when you're right. I remember the one year I picked Boston and Vancouver in the Stanley Cup final. I was letting everybody <laughs> And then the next year when I, like, two teams that missed the playoffs, Chris Miller, my editor at the Strib, made everybody, let everybody know. <laughs> Took a little, little screen capture of my predictions and put it out there. I so. remember I, when the Giants upset the Bills and beat them by one point uh-huh. in the Super Bowl, and it was, like, a huge upset. I actually picked that exactly right by one point. And I had to go around telling people, like, friends of mine, don't 
think I know what I'm doing. Don't bet any money on my picks. Yeah. I just got really lucky. Yeah. You know, the cool thing now is that, like, we really, like, I don't, like, I'm not coming out. We did a, like, kind of an athletic, our, our team of writers, 30 or 40 something of us, uh, did our kind of overall predictions. And they did it analytically and they put up today. But I'm not doing, like, a separate, like, here's Russo's 1 through 15 uh, tomorrow uh, in the athletics. So uh, that'll be my excuse is that I didn't do them. I would have picked that team, though. Tampa versus Winnipeg. Done. All right. We have a prediction that we can make fun of you later with. Yep. Uh, thanks to producer Brandon Morton. If you'd like to sponsor this program or any of the other programs across the growing network, you can reach me at jsouhan47 at gmail.com. Please download before you listen if you can. It's a better listening experience. It's better for our business as well. Also, we've started up another show that has some hockey uh, mixed into it. Kevin Gorg, Dan Myers, uh, both hockey personalities, but also big into fantasy sports, gambling, all those other things, uh, and college hockey and high school hockey. They've started a show called Frozen Fantasy, and as we grow our network, you know, we're always looking for new sponsors, new advertisers. For, with a startup show like Kevin's, you can get in really cheap, and he can reach a, a large audience both with his social media and his listenership. Plus, uh, those guys are really cheap. And, and Yeah, they are cheap guys. That's yeah. what we're trying to say. They had so, Doobie on the other day. That was good. Yeah, they had Dubnik yeah. on. And that's the cool part of their show is it is going to be very different than ours. You know, ours, yes. um, Jim just uh, listens to me speak, or and they're going to actually not talk really to listen. interesting people. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I get on that show? Yeah, I know. Actually, uh, let's not say that. We don't want their sponsors bailing to their uh, good, show. Good point. Yeah. Uh, so so if you'd like to sponsor that program, let me know. Also, uh, thanks again to Delano's Pizza. Again, 118 North 4th Street. They also have a, uh, a place in Woodbury. So you can order from either the Minneapolis or the Woodbury. You can go to either place, or you can use Bite Squad to order from either place, I believe. And, again, the Bite Squad code is talk north, uh, one word, and that will get you free delivery on your first order. Also want to thank What a our great name. Which one? Talk North? Podcast. Talk North? Yeah. You only had five names before until you got it right, but that's I'm not even sure I got it right, but I'm just tired of changing it, so we're yeah. going to stick with it. Yeah. Uh, and also, thank you to our primary sponsor, Twill, in the Dining Galleria, Scott Dayton Shop. I'm wearing this shirt that I got at Twill today. If it, you know, my slogan, if, if it looks good on me, it's got to look good on somebody else. Okay. Good slogan. All right. It's, it best really I got. it's all I got. flows off the tongue. Yeah. It, yeah it's, maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. Kind of like all the names of my, my networks. Jim usually doesn't like to shop for clothes. I don't like it when he shops for clothes either, because he used to buy stuff I'd want to throw out. That's why I'm so glad he's found Twill in the Edina Galleria. He likes shopping there because of the comfortable environment and the friendly staff. He finds clothes that actually fit him properly and are high-quality brands that will look great for years, whether he's golfing or working. Our favorites so far are Peter Millar, Johnny O, and Barber. We spend our money at Twill because we love the clothes, and we love the no-pressure shopping. Drop by Twill in the Edina Galleria for the best shopping experience and best clothes you'll find in the Twin Cities. You know, it's a, I will say, like everybody with the like Wild and like even the fans that are that are all down on them right now. It's like I, I was reading somebody on Twitter today that's like a blogger, and all he does daily is just bash the Wild, bash and bash and bash. Same team, board. like you know, look if, if you're only going to watch a team because they're going to be the Stanley Cup championship, you're going to be left most of the time disappointed in any sport. Uh, the, the goal still of professional sports is to be entertained. And, you know, say what you want about the Wild, but they were one of the best home teams in the league last year. They scored a bunch. They do have some fun players to watch. Like, like if I, like give let them lose a couple before, like, you've, you're just, you know, can I say it, Brandon? I won't say it. I'll just go crapping on them. You know, like, like it's, in, it's insane yeah, to me. Like, well, yeah, I know. Like it's it's just it really is just a uh, it's 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 nuts to me. Just uh, already the negativity. I think for my own sanity, uh, the block and the mute button is going to be good this year. So, how's Bruce's mood? Uh, Bruce is uh, good. Uh, although, uh, yeah, he's good. <laughs> what <laughs> what I, are you about to say that no, you shouldn't say? No, no. Say? He he uh, he read a tweet of mine today that he didn't like, and I think he thought that I was saying that he said it when it wasn't somebody else that said it, and. It was a whole misunderstanding, but all good. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's um, uh, he's in, he's fine. I mean, you know, uh, we'll we'll find out how he feels at ten twenty five local time on Thursday um, if McKinnon lights them up for the uh, you know fifth straight game or whatever. I mean, you know, we'll see. Uh, but right now, I think everybody's anxious. Yeah, I was talking to Koivu today, and you know, it's funny. He's like, "Man, training camp is is so 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 long. It feels like it's lasting forever." Then you hit that first. 
practice today and you're like, oh my God, it's right here. And yes, you get kind of nervous that here we go, the grind is about to begin. And it's funny, I was telling him that when I first started covering the league, I mean, training camp used to be 25, 26 days. 